Andrew, did you take Sparky on his walk this morning? I did, Mum. He got plenty of exercise. Unfortunately, he decided to bite another male man, and he once again ate Mrs. Jackson's flowers. <laughs> Good grief. Didn't we teach that dog to behave better than that? Now Mrs. Jackson is gonna make me replant her flowers again. I'm not spending the money I'm using to fund my NASCAR team to buy more flowers for Mrs. Jackson. If she wants new flowers, she can go to Walmart and buy them herself. I'm tired of dealing with that crabby old ragamuffin. Karen. Oh, for the love of God. Hey, Deke. Why are you wearing that Dolly Parton wig? That would go great with a coat of many colors you know. <laughs> ha ha ha. That was funny, Mum. He must be working 9 to 5. Jolene, 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 I'm begging you, please don't take my man. I am not Deke. And I am not Dolly Parton. I am Karen. And I am entitled to come over here and complain about something. Ugh. I knew it. I could tell by looking at that wig you were wearing. Oh, finger doodles. I hate Karens. They are the worst. I would like to speak to the manager, please. You are looking at her, bud. That teenager over there, in the orange shirt, is wearing a pair of blue jeans, on a hot and sunny day. It's almost a hundred degrees out here, and he should be wearing shorts. Now you listen here, mister. If I want to wear blue jeans, on a hot day, it is my right to do so. Plus, it's only 82 degrees, not a hundred. Don't you yell at me like that. That makes me, want to take your mother's car, that I am entitled to. You see son? This is why I told you, to stay away, from these, Karens. All they are good for is claiming they are entitled to everything they see and touch and making your life a living hell. Just like Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> ha ha ha. I knew that was coming. Either you make your son go in there and put some shorts on or else, I will call the police, and have you arrested, for child neglect. And, I will take your house, your car, your money, and everything you own. That's it. I will not let a self-entitled lunatic take away my son and my life. Take this, you, you, you grocery store cashier's worst nightmare. Holy cow. My mom just did a Becky Lynch on the Silver Deke logo for him thinking that he's a Karen. Arg. That's what you get for thinking you're entitled to the whole universe. Now go home and think about what you've done. I never want to see you do that stupid Karen act ever again. I should have known better than to wear that stupid wig and pretend to be someone I'm not. I had no idea Janet could hit like that. I'd better go home and put some ice on this eye.
Let that be a lesson to all the other Karens out there. That's what you get when you mess with Janet Kid in bed. At least you didn't have a bowling ball in your hands. Because I know where you would have planted that thing. Exactly right, Andrew. It would have hit him right in the groin. <laughs> ha 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 ha. Then, he really would have sounded like Dolly Parton. Okay, I'm gonna fire up the grill so we can have some grilled chicken sandwiches. Just make sure you put some Worcestershire sauce on mine. I like my chicken sandwiches with Worcestershire sauce, you know. And that's the end.